Hi, I'm a big fan of uh, Zippo lighters. I like them. Uh, and so I wanted to make a quick video about how to keep the fuel, which I believe is kerosene, uh, from evaporating. So um, there's several reasons why the fuel evaporates. Uh, the main reason is because the uh, um, there are cracks in between, there's a gap in between the casing and uh, um, the housing of the, uh, of the lighter. Uh, and so my first idea was to buy these little rubber gaskets from eBay and replace the, the felt bottom with this gasket. I actually like this gasket. It wasn't expensive. Uh, it flips up. There's a space for the, uh, an extra flint on the bottom. Uh, but I found that actually these kind of shrink over time. I don't know if you can see this, but there's even a gap here at the end. Uh, and so they didn't stop the evaporation. Uh, and so usually what happens is that, you know, for the first week or so, everything's fine. And then, um, and then after a few weeks, the, the lighter's just dry. And I have a lot of Zippos, um, so it's kind of annoying to fill one and not have it keep the fuel. And every time I would go back, it's dry. So I did find this solution. It's a small Pelican case, uh, the Pelican 1010, and it's just the right dimensions for a few lighters. And what it has is it's, uh, um, it's waterproof, uh, it's also airproof. It's got this nice airtight. It's got this nice rubber gasket all the way along. And so, um, and so the fuel will evaporate and then build up a, um, a concentration in the air and then stop because it has nowhere to go. Uh, the other, the other reason it evaporates, it's not just through the bottom of the lighter, but it's also through the wick. So even if you had a perfect seal, at the bottom of this casing, the wick's job is to bring fuel from um, from the cotton out into the air. So even if you had, like, even if this this little gasket worked properly, then um, then it wouldn't have solved the problem anyway. So uh, just to illustrate how this is working, uh, I filled this up a little while ago, but um, in chemistry there's a principle the law of partial pressures of gases. I think it's Raoult's law. Um, it's been a while since I've looked at it. I'm a chemistry guy. But um, so these lighters are going to, uh, the gas is going to equilibrate with the air and then diffuse out uh, and then build up a concentration in here. It has nowhere to go. And once it reaches saturation in that air, the diffusion will stop. And that's why the lighters will, um, will not empty out. And just to show you that it actually works that way, I'm going to do a quick demo. I'm gonna like open this case up. I'm gonna try lighting. <laughs> this is kind of cool. I did this before. It surprised me that it worked. I'm gonna try lighting the gas inside. Oh, there it goes. So you can see that's exactly what happened. Um, the, uh, yeah, it's gone now. Um, the gas built up in here just on its own uh, and then it stopped and then each lighter is going to be able to light now I filled them before I See there and you can see it's even Lighting in the cap because it has nowhere to go and then it will light Perfectly uh, and now that I've used this case I find that I don't have to fill my lighters each time anymore It just holds for months which is nice. So it's just an idea for uh, other Zippo enthusiasts, enthusiasts um, that this little airtight Pelican case or any small airtight case for that matter should do the same thing. Um, it, will, uh, it will save you from needing to modify your Zippo with gaskets or I've also seen O-rings that you can get to go along the side um, that seals the top, but this is kind of, if you have a bunch of Zippos, this is quite an elegant solution that I was excited about. So I wanted to share it.